Good day everyone, I'm Teacher Michelle, your science teacher. Come and explore the wonderful world of science, because in science, it's not just magic, it's real. Our lesson for today is about conductors of heat and electricity. You learned in the previous lesson that motion is a change in position with respect to the reference point well, distance is the measure of how far or near two points are from one another. So that, speed can be calculated by dividing the distance covered by an object in motion by the time spent over the distance. Let us try to answer this word problem. A jeepney drove to a passenger's house that is 30 meters away from the station in 15 seconds. What is the speed of the jeepney? Let us check your answer. Did you got it correct? Very good! Now perform the activity with safety precaution. It's called heat flow. Our problem is, what material will be good conductor of heat? What do you need? Hot water and mug, a coin, toothpick, paper, paper clip, comb, and tongs. What do you need to do? Put hot water in a mug. Be careful when experimenting with hot water. Place all objects in the mug. After one minute, drain the water in the mug and get the objects using a tongue. Touch each object and record your observations in a tabular form. Put a check in the column yes if the object became hot and in column no if not. Let us answer the questions. Which among the objects are good conductors of heat? Which among the objects are insulators of heat? Where does an object should be made from to allow heat to pass through? Then, give examples of materials found at home where heat can be able to pass through. Do we have the same answer? Well, that's nice! Now let us answer this. Read the following statement and choose the letter of the best answer. Write the letter of your answer in your science notebook. When you peel off the coating of an electrical wire, you will see copper wires inside. Copper wire is the most widely used material for connecting electrical devices. Why do you think so? When you check your pots and pans in your kitchen, you will see that most of them are made of stainless steel or aluminum. Why are they suited for cooking utensils? 
Copper wires are widely used for electrical wiring because they are ductile and are good conductors of electricity, while steel and aluminum are good conductors of both heat and electricity. Conductors are materials that allow electricity and heat to flow freely through them, allowing electricity and heat to be transferred from the source through them. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. Copper and aluminum are metals. Stainless steel is an iron-based metal with chromium. Cooking pots and pans made of metals make cooking faster because they quickly allow heat to transfer from the flame to the food being cooked. Iron, gold, silver, brass, steel, copper, nickel, and water are also conductors of heat and electricity. Not all materials are good conductors of heat and electricity. Materials that are non-conductors or that do not allow heat and electricity to pass through them are called insulators. Materials that are made of plastic, silk, leather, glass, oil, and rubber are insulators. Let us answer. Write the word true if the statement is correct and false if not. Number 1. Aluminum is a good conductor of heat and electricity. The answer is... Number 2. All materials can be good conductors of heat and electricity. The answer is... Number 3. Metal pots allow the heat flow thoroughly. 4. Iron-based metal are insulators of heat and electricity. And 5. Electricity plays an important role in our daily activities. Now, Analyze each picture. Write C if the object is conductor and I if the object is insulator. Did you get it all correct? Well, that's great! Now you can visit your Google Classroom for more learning tasks.